Welcome to Magic for Poor Peoples. I am your host, the always original, never reprinted, Poor Peoples. And I have today a very special unboxing. As you can see, we have here Secret Lair Commander Raining Cats and Dogs. It was a very limited release, sold out quite uh, quite rapidly. Uh, but let's get into this and see what, uh, see what we have. Hopefully I didn't slice through a bunch of cards. Just joking, I know I did. Uh, I've never uh, purchased one of these Commander decks, so I don't know exactly what to expect. Thank you for being part of Secret Lair. I would hope so. At uh, Canadian, this cost about $250, um, which is quite expensive. Most I've ever spent on Secret Lair, but uh, it, there is that value there. All right. Oh, cool. Oh, okay, there is a special uh, deck box. I mean, the deck box is, you know, paper, but I would say premium paper. Okay, let's see what we have in here. A spacer, a life counter, okay, I think this is a poster, but let's open it up and see, and catch some dog. cool. So there's our commander, Rin and Siri. Um, I think this is only the third time Rin and Siri has been printed. Um, it was a box topper, I think, in 2021. Um, it's been, a, there was a secret layer not that long ago. And now, okay. So let's look at it. Uh, let's quickly go through the cards. This is one of the uh, thicker cardboard um, commander cards. That's not it's not the official card. Okay. So that was Ren and Siri inseparable, and again, different picture on either side. Jetmare Nexus of Reveals or Rebels. I guess you should learn how to. Speak English words. And again, Jenny Faye, Jetmere's second. Okay. Uh, these are pretty cool. I'm not really sure what you're supposed to. I think these are just, you can use the Magic Commander card and then. Now here's the real card. Etched Foil, Rin and Siri, the uh, inseparable. Rin and Siri, inseparable. Cool artwork. Okay. Jetmere Nexus of Rebels. Reveals Rebels. No, it's Rebels. Questioning my ability to read English. Jenny Faye, Jetmere's second. And this is actually a, a pretty good deck. This card alone in Canada, I think, is like $75. And that's for the non uh, secret layer version. Obviously, the secret layer versions of uh, cards are often a little more expensive. Soaring. Okay. Elms Collector. Dusk and Dawn. Felidar Retreat. High Cliff Felidar. Jazzle Gold Main. Lion Sash, Loyal Warhound, Pack Leader, My Old Job, Regal Caracal, it's 
Sky Hunter Strike Force, Stalking Leonin, Takashi's Welcome. I mean, it would have been nice, Cursed Mirror, if uh, these had come with sleeves as well. I mean, new battle armor, Feline Sovereign, Hungry Link. Quasi Slingers, Realm Walker. Pretty good shapeshifter card, usable in any creature theme deck that has specific creatures that you need to run. Return of the Wild Speaker. Kit Kanto, Mayhem Diva. I don't really know much about her. She's also a legendary creature in theory. You could run her as a commander. Marisi, Breaker of. The Coil. The Bind, Boss's Confidant. Showdown of the Scalds. Basculus Caller. Maskwood Nexus. Vanquisher's Banner. Animal Sanctuary, that's too funny. Canopy Vista. Cinder Glade. Clifftop Retreat. Fortified Village. Game Trail. Jetmere's Garden. It's a Mountain Forest Plains. Those have a bit of value, as all, uh, I'm sure you know. Forest Plains. Oh, there's a lot of uh, these dual type basic uh, land cards. They're not basic lands, but dual type lands. Brima is King of or Orskos. A large number of mythics in here. Cash out. Uh, so they say cash out when you're ahead. King of the Pride. The one before that was Crib Swap. Mirror Entity. It's a card I use in another deck. Forest Coast Explorer. Path to Exile. Very common commander card. Sets Tiger. And for those of you who don't know what this border treatment is, that is Future Sight. Spirited Companion. White Sun Zenith, White Mane Lion, Impact Tremors, good card for this kind of deck, Torin Mauler, Warp World, Beastmaster Ascension, Cultivate, Far Seek, Greater Tanuki. Oh, I hear some slippery over here. Okay. Keeper of the Fables. Lurking Predators. Ask the Vandal. Again, another uh, Future Sight card. Nectal War Pride. Nature's Lore. Tamara Sabretooth. Three Visits. Wood Panther, Arcane Signet, Bloodline Pretender, Herald's Horn, which of course makes sense for this kind of deck, uh, Ketra's Monument, Skull Clamp, Command Tower. Would have been nice if they had made a uh, specific Command Tower. Exotic Orchard. Jungle Shrine, Crossin Verge, Path of Ancestry, Rootbound Crag, Super Sunpetal Grove, 
And here's some of the uh, plain, uh, full art basic lands that they made, which I think are actually really cool. I wish they weren't bent. But what can you do? There's that one. And there's five of these, I believe, which are all the same. Actually, I think there's more than five. I think there's ten. And this is what the mountain looks like. And I think there's five of those. We'll see. Yep, there's five of those ones. And there's the forest ones. Really cool. And we are now on to the tokens. Super cute. I think these are some of the biggest selling features of this. Obviously, the cards that are in this deck are a big selling feature, too. A lot of them have a fair bit of value. At least for now, until they get printed uh, 10 more times. Cat beast, rat, cat, rat. Cat, dog, cat, citizen, dog, cat, cat. It's obviously from Emma Cat, dog, citizen, cat, cat, soldier. Cat Soldier, uh, Shapeshifter, and now we're getting to the bonus cards. Now I already had known about these because I needed to know what the bonus cards were going to be. But for those of you who don't, there's Nine Lives. It's a card I wasn't overly familiar with. And Yashimiru, Ever Faithful. Well, again, thank you for joining me. If you like liked this video, please like and subscribe, comment. Uh, I love interacting with you guys. And yeah, thanks for joining me.